Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is pterygium excision with conjunctival autograft. Let us observe this surgery. We can see the conjunctiva is not healthy in this case. So I decided not to use this conjunctiva as the graft tissue. So I am going to sacrifice this conjunctiva. Take fresh conjunctiva from the supero-temporal aspect and place that fresh conjunctiva as autograft. So excision of the pterygium is going on. And just removing the thick conjunctiva and subconjunctival tissue. I'm going to remove this. Here I excise this. I'll use a crescent blade a little later to remove this tissue. Now first let me remove the soft conjunctival tenons. This tenons tissue is the culprit. Conjunctiva is benign and this tenons grows onto the cornea and pulls the conjunctiva along with it. So this tenons should be trimmed as much as possible. And now this area is to be covered with a graft. Now let us remove the tissue from the cornea. I have taken a crescent blade. Now before that this is a tooth forceps. I am going to just remove the tags there are some bleeding but I am not going to use cautery and because cautery has produced a lot of untoward effect in the past there has been scleral thinning, scleral necrosis, scleral melting because of use of cautery. So I have stopped using cautery in pterygium even if it bleeds. I just let it bleed and it will stop by itself. After the coagulation time of this patient. So remember not to use cautery, not to use bipolar cautery to stop bleeding. And now I am going to get the donor tissue. It is important to take only the conjunctiva and not the tenons, not should not cut the tenons. If we just take conjunctiva and place the tenons there can be primary healing means the conjunctiva will grow over the tenons and it will remain as original tissue as original appearance but if we cut the tenons the area will heal by fibrosis, that is secondary healing. And in case we need to do a trap later on, this area cannot be used. So I am just taking the conjunctiva and I am carefully keeping the underlying tenons tissue intact. There will be some attachments that will be carefully cut later on. Uh, here is the 
donor tissue very carefully I'm going towards the limbus and now I just try to remove the attachments still there are some attachments with the tenons and the, those attachments are to be removed at this time there has been a conjunctival button holding very small on and it will not cause any problem and now we can see the button hole on the left side this is the, an on tag and just carefully cutting closer to the conjunctiva so that the tenons remains almost intact and now this tissue is to be excised this graft tissue and it is to be placed over this area but I want to use fresh blood as glue and we can see that bleeding has stopped at this area so what I do is first I get the donor tissue Yeah, there are some more attachments and that has to be excised here it is so this is very careful dissection and um, removing the donor tissue now And now this tissue has to be placed in a right orientation, in correct orientation. Before placing the graft, I will get some fresh blood. What I am going to do is, I have taken a crescent blade in my right hand and I am going to make some small cuts over the sclera I'm just cutting the small blood vessels so that I get some fresh blood and now this tissue will be placed over this fresh blood within a minute so that we get the fibrin of the fresh blood in uh, time to act yes the donor tissue has been placed on the recipient bed and the fresh blood is doing its job it will keep this graft stuck to this area and this is cotton tipped Janssen bud just roll the bud like this and so that it gets nicely spread over this recipient bed and now just posterior to the graft usually a gap appears a cleft appears in the post-op period in this case I am going to do something for that I am going to place a suture just on the conjunctiva so that it comes little forward and this the
cleft or the gap doesn't remain. Here is the single releasable suture taking this bite here and little away another bite here and now as I make a releasable knot this conjunctiva will come forward and there will be no gap between the graft and the post conjunctiva. We are going to see that in a very short while in the post op pictures. Here it is. You can see that the conjunctiva has nicely is nicely opposed to the graft. The graft is very nicely in place. This picture is after 20 hours. And see the host area is so clean. It has almost epithelialized in overnight. Thank you very very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in doing your pterygium surgeries. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.